Indian monsoon. In this module, you will understand the concept of Indian monsoon, explain the factors that determine the typicality of Indian monsoon and also explain the role of monsoon in Indian economy. Monsoon Indian monsoon To the poets, it is magical. It is dramatic. In fact, it really is dramatic. Let us see what a monsoon is. Monsoon is a periodic seasonal wind that comes from sea to land in a particular season and completely reverses back with the change in the atmospheric conditions in the next season. It is a typical yet dominant feature of the Indian climate. The term monsoon is derived from an Arabic word mosim, which means season. In olden days, the sailors found this wind convenient to set in their sails on the direction of the wind. They used to save their fuel and time by doing so. Let us discuss the causes of this seasonal reversal of wind from sea to land and land to sea. The main cause is the differential heating and cooling of land and its surrounding water bodies, that is seas and oceans. During summer, land is hotter and thus low pressure develops over interior parts of the large Indian landmass. Simultaneously, high pressure condition develops over the seas and oceans surrounding India. Thus, a steady flow of moisture-laden wind moves towards India and causes rainfall for almost three months. As the pressure system reverses due to apparent shifting of the sun from the Tropic of Cancer to the equator, the wind also reverses back to the same direction from where it comes. There is another interesting fact that the apparent movement of the sun from the Tropic of Cancer in June to the Tropic of Capricorn in December affects the global climate. The pressure bells and the wind systems change globally. The maximum effect can be noticed on the equatorial belt. Here, the northeast and southeast trade winds converge and thus it is also called as the Intertropical Convergence Zone or ITCZ. So, due to the apparent movement of the sun, this ITCZ shifts 5 degrees north during summer and 5 degrees south during winter. The ITCZ is pushed further north till the Ganga Basin due to the differential heating and cooling of the Indian landmass and its surrounding water bodies during the monsoon season. We call it as a monsoon trough. The intense low-pressure system formed over the Tibetan Plateau attracts air from the intense high-pressure system that develops over Indian Ocean near Madagascar Island of Africa. This causes a strong pull of moisture-laden air mass from ocean to the landmass of India. While the shifting of the ITCZ, the pressure system reverses, causing the reversal of wind. Around the same time, the movement of upper air circulation, or the jet streams, also affects the summer and winter monsoons of India. The global climatic events of changing pressure system over oceans have tremendous effect on the arrival, duration, amount and retreat of monsoon in India. The equatorial belt of the tropical region of the Pacific and Indian Oceans faces the maximum effects. Usually, the situation is like when the southeastern Pacific has low pressure and high temperature. The eastern Indian Ocean has high pressure and low temperature but the situation reverses roughly in three to eight years. This reversal of temperature and pressure condition across the ocean is called as Southern Oscillation. Due to vast uninterrupted ocean in the Southern Hemisphere, the conditions are felt more than in the Northern Hemisphere. The normal condition brings moderate to good monsoon, whereas the reverse condition brings drought and famine to the Asian region. El Nino and La Nina are the two opposite ends of the Southern Oscillation or SO cycle. El Nino is the warm phase of Southern Oscillation and La Nina is the cold phase of Southern Oscillation. These deviations from normal surface temperatures can have large-scale impacts not only on ocean processes but also on global weather and climate. This climatic event is also known as ENSO. El means El Nino and SO means Southern Oscillation. During El Nino, the monsoon will be weaker and comes late in India as summer is cooler and the surrounding sea and ocean temperature remain warmer than the usual. The Peruvian cold current is replaced by a warm current, therefore the pull of air from the landmass would be weak. The La Nina is good for monsoon condition as the temperature over the sea remains cooler and pressure difference between land and sea is very high. 
so the pulling of air mass from sea to land is very intense. El Nino and La Nina events occur on average every two to seven years. The arrival of the monsoon rain in India is the most satisfying and joyous moment for the people of India. This is more because India is an agricultural country and the economic growth of each year depends on the amount and duration of monsoon rain. Delays and long breaks in monsoon rain are dangerous for the basic occupations such as farming, fishing and forestry. This is because chances of drought and famine increase. On the other hand, a long spell of heavy rain may damage standing crops with the increased threats of flood. The secondary sector of the economy, like the agro-based industry, also depends on monsoon as the supply of their raw material is governed by a good spell of rain. The market will remain steady with a good monsoon year with stable price of food products, whereas a bad monsoon season will cause inflation, food insecurity and public unrest. Monsoon is a unifying bond of the nature and lifestyle of India. The rivers and ponds rejuvenate with rainwater. The soil and underground water table get support to hold moisture and water and the parched plant and animal kingdoms become lively with the monsoon shower. The green nature of monsoon-fed India has inspired poets and artists to create rich poetry and paintings that add to our rich cultural heritage. Let's recap. Monsoon is a periodic seasonal wind. It blows from sea to land in one season and reverses back in the next season. The term monsoon is derived from an Arabic word mosim, which means season. The main cause is the differential heating and cooling of land and its surrounding water bodies, that is seas and oceans. The reversal of temperature and pressure condition across the ocean is called as southern oscillation. El Nino and La Nina are the two opposite ends of the southern oscillation. El Nino is the warm phase and La Nina is the cold phase. India is an agricultural country and the economic growth of each year depends on the amount and duration of monsoon rain. Delays and long breaks in monsoon rain increase the chance of drought and famine. On the other hand, a long spell of heavy rain increases the threats of flood. Monsoon is a unifying bond of the nature and lifestyle of India.